Welcome back to my channel, iClarinet. I had a request the other day for a video on how to make your first sounds on the clarinet. So I thought we could do that today together. Once you have your clarinet assembled, and if you're not sure how to do that, you can check the description down below or click this link right here and see my video about assembling your clarinet and putting the reed on the mouthpiece. So once we're assembled, we want to form our embouchure. The embouchure, the shape that your mouth makes around the mouthpiece. So for me, what I usually tell my students is that we want to curl our bottom lip over our bottom teeth just slightly, put our top teeth on the top of the mouthpiece right here. We do not want to touch the reed with our teeth. So curl, top teeth on top of the mouthpiece, and then we want to bring the corners of our mouth in, like we're saying, ooh, curl, here, teeth, ooh, curl, in, teeth, ooh. Once we have our embouchure set, let's start by placing our left hand on top of the clarinet like this, just to make our first sound. So curl, teeth, breathe in. Try it again. Curl, teeth, breathe in. For our proper hand position, because we won't always be playing like this. Our left hand uses the top keys and our right hand, the bottom keys. We're not gonna worry about these today. That's for another day. For right now, you wanna put your thumb underneath the thumb rest like this. This thumb will go on this key. And then the next finger goes on the next ring your middle finger goes on the next ring, and then your ring finger goes on the open hole. Okay? These fingers live on these keys, and they will only ever go in this place. You'll never have to shift your hand like this, or like this, or do anything like that. Your thumb, this key, your pointer finger here, your middle finger, here and your ring finger here. Let's try supporting the clarinet with just our thumb. I'm playing that note again where we use no fingers. That note is our open G. Now one thing to keep in mind is that when we play we want to keep our cheeks in. We want all of our air when we play to move through the instrument very quickly. If you puff your cheeks, the air is going into your cheeks rather than into the clarinet. Hopefully we can hear the difference from that. The next note after our open G would be F. So for the F, you're just going to use your thumb on this open hole. And we want to make sure that our fingers are positioned so that the soft, squishy pads of our fingers are what's covering the hole because we need them to seal completely in order for the clarinet to produce a proper sound. I have my bottom thumb, my right hand thumb on my thumb rest my left hand thumb covering this back hole and curl bottom lip, top teeth on the mouthpiece. The next note, E. So we already have our thumb and all we're going to do is add the front finger. So you'll have your back thumb and front finger. Let's try the same thing. Now 
Now, again, we're just going to add one more finger. So we have our thumb, our first finger, and our next finger. Now this is where we want to be careful that we're not touching these side keys here. Okay, especially if your hands are smaller. A lot of times students will collapse their hand and accidentally open these keys. So we want to make sure that we don't touch these side keys and that we are covering the holes completely and not letting some air escape. A good way to practice this if you find that you're having difficulty is to practice in front of a mirror so that you can watch your hands and to make sure that they're sealing properly. So let's try the D. Thumb, first finger, second finger. Ready? <sighs> And the last note for today, we're going to add our final finger. We want the soft, squishy part of our finger to cover this open hole. So like before, we have thumb, first finger, second finger, and then we're just adding the third finger. <laughs> To review, we have G, F, E, D, and C. G, F, E, D, C. this combination of notes you can play many beginning songs. I'll actually link some down below in the description. So I hope this video is helpful. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I went too fast or if you still have questions about anything, if you're having any trouble. I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Clara Nerdy content. I post pretty regularly. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And definitely leave a comment. I would love to hear what you would like to see more videos of um, and to get some feedback from the people who do follow and watch my channel. So I hope this was helpful. And until next time, happy practicing.